And today's video guys, I'm going to show you the best method on how to boost your FPS here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 the easiest way possible. If you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to check out my 2.0 channel guys. It's linked in the description. I'm uploading there like benchmarks of different resolutions. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, what I want you to do now in the first step is open up your device manager, simply in the Windows search bar, type in device and then it should pop up here, device manager control panel, open it up. And once we're actually in here, guys, we're going to now look for system devices. We're going to open it up and in here should be now the high precision event timer, guys. And I'm going to put it right now here on screen. This is basically bottlenecking your system straight up without you even realizing, guys. This is pretty much basically giving you additional latency on your system and decreasing your FPS in any game you guys want to play. So therefore, what I want you to do is after each and every single Windows update is right click onto high precision event timer and make sure that it's disabled, guys. It will tell you now disabling the service will cause it to stop functioning. We're going to click onto yes. And then we just like double check it real quick and see that it's actually turned off because now we only have the option to enable it again. And trust me guys, after disabling this one, you will instantly notice a performance increase. And yeah, we're pretty much done here with the first step. And in the second step, guys, we're now going to go into our Windows search bar and just simply type in virus until we can find virus and threat protection system settings. Open it up, guys, and it should look exactly like this here. And then under virus and threat protection settings, we can now see a manage settings. We're going to click onto it. And we have here, of course, our real-time protection. I would definitely recommend you to keep that one on, guys, 100%. You don't want any viruses or some stuff like that on your PC. But what we can definitely turn off is cloud-delivered protection because we don't need that one. We're going to click onto yes because, yeah, we don't need it, guys, just simply like that. It's kind of unnecessary here on Windows. And automatic sample submission, guys, yeah? This pretty much sends like files to Microsoft and this is just again for them to collect data and some stuff like that. We don't have to care about it. It's just slowing down our PC because this is also a real time process running 24 seven in the background. So therefore make sure that it's disabled guys. And then tamper protection we can also see now here prevents others from tampering with important security features. But here again, it also kind of sends only like data to Microsoft so we can disable it 100%. And the only one which I would really leave on is as mentioned, real-time protection. And what we can do even more additionally, guys, is go here now onto exclusions and then we can now add or remove exclusions. We're going to click onto yes. And as you can see, I already got my Fortnite actually added here, guys, because for some reason, this virus protection on Windows is also scanning every tool you're running in the background. So therefore you can theoretically do this with any game you want to play. But of course, since this is a Fortnite tutorial, guys, we're going to click onto add exclusion then we go here onto file and then once we're in here guys you can see now that I added here my Fortnite um, exe itself the Windows 64 shipping exe and you can find it here under program files epic games Fortnite Fortnite game binaries and Windows 64 and they're just simply going to edit like that guys and then it should be in here and this is going to pretty much give like here your Windows security guard um, the info and this is basically going to give your Windows security guard the info that they shouldn't check Fortnite 24 seven in the background while gaming. And this is going to improve your overall performance and also decrease your pain. So guys, and once we know even here in game, you can see I get four, 500 FPS in the actual game itself, not like creative, the whole entire map is loading and everything. So therefore this boost 100% work guys. And yeah, this is also like what I'm trying to tell you guys is on my website, you can always find like FPS boots guides or game user settings with specific like resolutions and stuff like that. So therefore make sure to check it out guys. And also feel free to subscribe to the Straps 2.0 because there I'm uploading benchmarks of different stretch resolutions. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.